Library branch and I'm so excited to read you one of my favorite spooky stories for Halloween time. It's about a ghost that's super shy but all he wants to do is make friends. This is Gustavo the Shy Ghost by Flavia Z. Drago. Gustavo was a ghost. He enjoyed doing the normal things that paranormal beings do, passing through walls, making objects fly, and glowing in the dark. but there was nothing in the world that he loved more than playing the violin. Well, almost nothing. Gustavo was secretly in love with Alma, the prettiest monster in town, but he also had a problem. You see, Gustavo was so shy that some things felt incredibly difficult for him. And the worst part of it? Making friends was terrifying. Gustavo had never dared to speak to any of the other monsters. See him all the way up there? He tried getting close to them in many different ways. But even when he was right in front of them, they just couldn't see him. You see, he's blending in super well, but it's just so hard to see him. Gustavo longed to be a part of something. More than anything, he wanted to make a friend. I have to be brave. I have to let the others see me, he thought. So he decided to send a letter, a very special one. <clears throat> Dear monsters, I would like to invite you to my violin concert, which will take place at the Day of the Dead party next full moon at the cemetery. I would be thrilled to see you there. Signed, Gustavo the Ghost. As the days went by, Gustavo couldn't stop thinking. What if no one shows up? What if they don't like my music? What if they don't like me? Except tonight was the night, and this time he couldn't hide. Look at him all dressed up for his concert. But not a soul had come. Oh, look how sad he is. Poor Gustavo. So all alone, Gustavo did what he loved most. And the music made him happy. So happy that he glowed. Oh, how he glowed. Look how happy he is. Gustavo! <gasps> We're so sorry. We're late. We wanted to get you flowers, but we got lost instead. And then we heard your music. We saw your glow. We really loved your concert. Would you like to hang out with us? Oh. From that moment on, Gustavo's life changed. And everyone discovered that even if he didn't talk much, he was the best at helping and protecting his friends. But mostly, Gustavo never stopped surprising them. And they never stopped loving him. The end. Well, I hope you enjoyed Gustavo the Shy Ghost. It just makes my heart so warm and fuzzy. You can check this book out at any of our library locations, and it's available in both English and Spanish. Wishing you a very happy Halloween time. <laughs>Hello, young viewers at home, my name is Mr. Eric and I'm a librarian at the Los Altos Branch Library for the Long Beach Library System. I came today to the Billie Jean King Main Library because I heard that there were some trick-or-treaters roaming around the library and I'm going to need your help to find them. So we're going to play a little game called Jack-o-lantern, Jack-o-lantern, what do you see on the count of one, two, three. Jack-o-lantern, Jack-o-lantern, what do you see? 
I see a white ghost looking at me. White ghost, white ghost, what do you see? I see a yellow moon looking at me. Yellow moon, yellow moon, what do you see? I see a blue spider looking at me. Blue spider, blue spider, what do you see? I see a green witch looking at me. Green witch, green witch, what do you see? I see a purple bat looking at me. Purple bat, purple bat, what do you see? I see a brown owl looking at me. Brown owl, brown owl, what do you see? I see a black cat looking at me. Black cat, black cat, what do you see? Wait for it. I see trick-or-treaters looking at me. Trick-or-treaters, trick-or-treaters, what do you see? I see an orange jack-o'-lantern, a white ghost, a yellow moon, a blue spider, a green witch, a purple bat, who? a brown who? owl, a black cat, and trick-or-treaters, that's what we see. Good job, young viewers. Thank you so much for your help. We found them. And before I go, I just want to wish you, and also on behalf of the Long Beach Library System, a happy, happy Halloween. And we hope that you get something good to eat. Take care, and thank you so much. Bye-bye. My name is Pam. I work here at the Billie Jean King Main Library as one of the children's librarians. I wanted to share with you today one of my favorite books for Halloween. It's called No Zombies Allowed by Matt Novak. And here we go. Witch Whistle and Witch Waddle were getting ready for their annual monster party. In fact, they had a sign in front of their house that said, Monster Party Tonight. Where are the ghoulish games and the monstrous music? asked Witch Whistle. I don't remember, sighed Witch Waddle. I can't find anything in this messy house. We should do some cleaning, said Witch Whistle. Whistle picked up a box and something fell out. Oh, look, she cried. I found a photo from our party last year. Let me see, said Waddle. I remember this now, said Whistle. Those zombies kept dropping their eyes onto the punch bowl. And they never talked, Waddle said. They just sat there well like zombies. They practically ruined the party. We should be more careful about who we allow in this year, said Whistle. So they made a big sign and put it in front of their house. And this one said, no zombies allowed. That should keep them away, said Waddle. This will be the biggest and best party we've ever had. Behind the sofa, they found another photo. Werewolves, said Whistle. Remember how they coughed up fur balls all over the house and how their howls shattered the windows. I'm still finding fleas in the furniture, said Waddle. Werewolves are worse than zombies. So they made another sign for the yard. No werewolves allowed. Now everyone who comes will enjoy the party, said Whistle. There were photos in the refrigerator. How did they get in there, asked Whistle. I don't remember, said Waddle, but I do remember that those swamp creatures tracked slime all through the house. And they just would not come out of the bathroom all night, said Whistle. We don't want any swamp creatures in our house this year. So they added yet another sign. No swamp creatures allowed. Parties sure are hard work, grunted Whistle. Waddle rolled up the carpet. Uh-oh, she said. More photos. I almost forgot about the ghosts, the skeletons, and the vampires. Oh, yes, said Whistle. Those ghosts moaned and groaned about everything. The skeletons kept calling everyone fatso, and the vampires sucked all the juice out of the fruit. We have to keep them out. Absolutely, Waddle agreed. 
so they made another sign. No ghosts, skeletons, or vampires allowed. That should take care of all of our problems, said Waddle as they pounded the sign into the ground. We better see if there are any more photos, Whistle said. There were photos under the sink, on top of the bookshelf, and inside the piano. My goodness, exclaimed Waddle, we almost overlooked all those witches who came last year. Remember how their brooms knocked everything over and how their pointy hats kept poking everyone in the eyes? I do remember, Whistle said. They sprinkled love potion all over the snake snacks and flew around turning everyone into frogs. Witches are the worst of all. Right, said Waddle. We won't allow any witches. Wait a minute, said Witch Whistle. Isn't this you? And isn't this you? asked Witch Waddle. Now that I think about it, said Whistle, that wasn't such a bad party. It really was a lot of fun, said Waddle. So they took down all the signs. There's just one more sign we need to make, Whistle said. I know just what you mean, said Waddle. And Whistle and Waddle's party was the biggest and best there ever was. Because their sign said, no photos allowed. So that's the way they remembered it. And that is the end of the story. Wish you all a happy, happy Halloween and happy Halloween reading. Come visit us at the library and find some great books. Good morning, boys and girls, to my corner of Halloween story time. And for today, we are going to make a stew. And not just any stew, a witch's stew. With, of course, my cauldron and my wonderful, dependable wand. And now for our first ingredient, we will, of course, be adding a little bit of squirrel. <laughs> and so we begin. Boiling hot, boiling hot. What shall we put in the witch's pot? Boiling hot, boiling hot. What shall we put in the witch's pot? I think next will be some hearts. And not just any hearts. The queen of hearts. <laughs> boiling hot, boiling hot. What shall we put in the witch's pot? Boiling hot, boiling hot. What shall we put in the witch's pot? I think next, a little bit of monster guts. <laughs> boiling hot, boiling hot, what shall we put in the witch's pot? Boiling hot, boiling hot, what shall we put in the witch's pot? We must of course put in some slug slime. <laughs> Boiling hot, boiling hot, what shall we put in the witch's pot? Boiling hot, boiling hot, what shall we put in the witch's pot? Next, we shall put in the pesky little mouse. <laughs> boiling hot, boiling hot, what shall we put in the witch's pot? Boiling hot, Boiling hot, what shall we put in the witch's pot? Next, my most rare of all, dragon's bone, I think. <laughs> boiling hot, boiling hot, what shall we put in the witch's pot? Boiling hot, boiling hot, what shall we put in the witch's pot? The most important of all. The most rare and divine ingredient. Some cricket brains. <laughs> boiling hot, boiling hot, boiling hot. What shall we put in this witch's pot? Boiling hot, boiling hot. And what have we made here? 
as it frothes and it bubbles, we have now the most impeccable and wonderful <laughs> Halloween surprise. <laughs> Happy Halloween! <laughs> Hello again, boys and girls. I have one more Halloween little surprise for you. It's a little finger play that you can do with, your, with yourselves and your family or your friends. It's a fun little Halloween finger play to share with each other. And it goes like this. Pumpkin, 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 bread. Pumpkin, 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 head. Pumpkin, 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 pie. Pumpkin, 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 I. Pumpkin, 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 cake. Pumpkin, 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 shake. Pumpkin, 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 stew. Pumpkin, 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 boom! <laughs> Welcome to Long Beach Public Library. I'm Chenda from the Bach Library. Bienvenidos a la Biblioteca de Long Beach. Me llamo Jackie y soy de la Biblioteca Dana. Today we'll be reading The Little Old Lady Who Was Not Afraid of Anything by Linda Williams, illustrated by Megan Lloyd. I'll be reading in English. Hoy vamos a leer el libro que se llama La Viejecita Que No Le Tenía Miedo a Nada. Escrito por Linda Williams, ilustrado por Megan Lloyd, y yo voy a leer en español. Let's get started. Once upon a time, there was a little old lady who was not afraid of anything. Había una vez una viejecita que no le tenía miedo a nada. One windy afternoon, the little old lady left her cottage and went for a walk in the forest to collect herbs and spices nuts and seed. Una tarde de mucho viento, la viejecita salió de su cabaña para dar un paseo por el bosque y recoger las hierbas, especias, nueces y semillas. She walked so long and so far that it started to get dark. Caminó y caminó por tanto tiempo que empezó a oscurecer. There was only a sliver of moon shining through the night the little old lady started to walk home. Solo un pequeño rayo de luna iluminaba la noche. La viejecita decidió regresar a su casa. Suddenly she stopped. Right in the middle of the path were two big shoes, and the shoes went clump, clump. De pronto se detuvo. En medio del sendero había un par de zapatos grandes, y los zapatos hacían Get out of my way, you two big shoes. I'm not afraid of you, said the little old lady. On she walked down the path. Apartense de mi camino, zapatones. No les tengo miedo, dijo la viejecita, y continuó su camino. But behind her, she could hear two shoes go clump, clump. Pero detrás de ella podía oír. Dos zapatones que hacían. Oh, oh, oh. A little further on, the little old lady stumbled into a pair of pants, and the pants went wiggle, wiggle. Un poco más adelante, la viejecita tropezó con un par de pantalones, y los pantalones hacían. Thru, thru, thru. Get out of my way, you pair of pants. I'm not afraid of you, said the little old lady, and on she walked. Apartense de mi camino, pantalones, no les tengo miedo, dijo la viejecita, y siguió su camino. But behind her, she could hear. Pero detrás de ella, podía oír. Two shoes go clump, clump, and a pair of pants that go wiggle, wiggle. Dos zapatones que hacían. Y unos pantalones que hacían fru, fru, fru. Further still, the little old lady bumped into a shirt, and the shirt went shake, shake. Más allá, la viejecita chocó con una camisa, y la camisa hacía chas, chas, chas. 
Get out of my way, you silly shirt. I'm not afraid of you, said the little old lady. And on she walked a little bit faster. Quita de este mi camino, camisa tonta. No te tengo miedo, dijo la viejecita. Y continuó caminando más deprisa. But behind her, she could hear. Pero detrás de ella, podía oír. Two shoes go clump, clump. A pair of pants go wiggle, wiggle. And a shirt and one shirt go shake, shake. Dos zapatones que hacían po, po, po. Unos pantalones que hacían fru, fru, fru. Y una camisa que hacía chas, chas, chas. A little ways on, the little old lady came upon two white gloves and a tall black hat. The gloves went clap, clap, and the hat went nod, nod. Un poco más allá, la viejecita se encontró con dos guantes blancos y un sombrero negro de copa. Y los guantes hacían clap, clap, clap. Y el sombrero hacía nod, nod, nod. Get out of my way, you two white gloves and you tall black hat. I'm not afraid of you, she said. And on she walked, just a little bit faster. Quítense de mi camino, guantes blancos y sombrero negro de copa. No les tengo miedo, les dijo la viejecita y apresuró el paso. But behind her, she could hear. Pero detrás de ella, podía oír. Two shoes go clomp, clomp. Dos zapatones que hacían pom, pom, pom. One pair of pants go wiggle, wiggle. Unos pantalones que hacían fru, fru, fru. One shirt go shake, shake. Una camisa que hacía chas, chas, chas. Two gloves go clap, clap. Dos guantes que hacían clap, clap, clap. One hat go nod, nod. Y un sombrero que hacían nod, nod, nod. By now, the little old lady was walking at quite a fast pace. She was very near her cottage when she was startled by a very huge, very orange, very scary pumpkin head. Ahora, la viejecita caminaba muy apurrada. Estaba muy cerca de su cabaña cuando la sorprendió una inmensa cabeza de calabaza, muy anaranjada y espantosa. And the head went. Y la cabeza hacía. Boo! 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 This time, the little old lady did not stop to talk. She did not stop at all. She ran. Esta vez, la viejecita no se detuvo a hablar. Ni siquiera se paró. Todo lo contrario. Salió corriendo. But behind her, she could hear. Pero detrás de ella. Podía oír. Two shoes go clomp, clomp. Dos zapatones que hacían pom, pom, pom. One pair of pants go wiggle, wiggle. Unos pantalones que hacían fru, fru, fru. One shirt go shake, shake. Una camisa que hacían chas, chas, chas. Two gloves go clap, clap. Dos guantes que hacían clap, clap, clap. One hat go nod, nod. Un sombrero que hacían nod, nod, nod. And one scary pumpkin head go boo, boo. Y una espantosa cabeza de calabaza que hacía boo, boo, boo. The little old lady did not look back. She ran as fast as she could and didn't stop to catch her breath until she was safe inside her cottage with the door locked. La viejecita no miró hacia atrás. Corrió tan rápidamente como pudo, sin detenerse a respirar, hasta que estuvo segura Dentro de su casa, con la puerta cerrada con la llave. She sat in her chair by the fire, and she rocked and she rocked. Se sentó en su sillón, al lado del fuego, y se meció una y otra vez. It was so quiet in the cottage before the knock, knock on the door. Todo estaba muy tranquilo en su casita cuando oyó llamar a la puerta. Should she answer it? ¿Debería abrir la puerta? Se preguntó. Well, she was not afraid of anything, so she went to the door and opened it. Como ella no le tenía miedo a nada, fue hasta la puerta y la abrió. What do you think she saw? 
¿Y a qué no sabes lo que vio? Two shoes go clump, clump. Dos zapatones que hacían tom, tom, tom. One pair of pants go wiggle, wiggle. Unos pantalones que hacían fru, fru, fru. One shirt go shake, shake. Una camisa que hacía chas, chas, chas. Two gloves go clap, clap. Dos guantes que hacían clap, clap, clap. One hat go nod, nod. Un sombrero que hacía nod, nod, nod. And one scary pumpkin head go boo, boo. Y una espantosa cabeza de calabaza que hacía boo, boo, boo. I'm not afraid of you, said the little old lady bravely. Yo no les tengo miedo, les dijo con mucho valor. What do you want anyway? ¿Qué es lo que quieren? We've come to scare you. Venimos a asustarte. You can't scare me, said the little old lady. Ustedes no me asustan, dijo what's... la viejecita. Then what's to become of us? The pumpkin head suddenly looked unhappy. ¿Qué será de nosotros entonces? Dijo la calabaza entristecida. I have an idea, said the little old lady. Tengo una idea, dijo la viejecita. She whispered into the pumpkin's ear, and the pumpkin head nodded, and its face seemed to brighten. Entonces, susurró algo al oído de la calabaza. La cabeza de calabaza asintió, y su cara pareció alegrarse. The little old lady said good night closed the door, and whistled on her way to bed. La viejecita les dio las buenas noches, cerró la puerta, y se fue a la cama silbando. The next morning she woke up early. She went to her window and looked into her garden. A la mañana siguiente, se despertó tempranito, fue a la ventana y miró hacia el jardín. And what do you think she saw? ¿Y a qué no sabes lo que vio? Two shoes go clump, clump. Dos zapatones que hacían pum, pum, pum. One pair of pants go wiggle, wiggle. Unos pantalones que hacían fru, fru, fru. One shirt go sh shake, shake. Una camisa que hacía chas, chas, chas. Two gloves go clap, clap. Dos guantes que hacían clap, clap, clap. One hat go nod, nod. Un sombrero que hacía nod. No, no. One scary pumpkin head go boo, boo. Una espantosa cabeza de calabaza que hacía boo, boo, boo. And scare all the crows away. Y espantaba los cuervos. Well, I hope you enjoyed The Little Old Lady Who Was Not Afraid of Anything by Linda Williams. Ojalá que se disfrutaba bien con la viejecita que no le tenía miedo a nada. Escrito por Linda Williams. You can check this book out at any of the Long Beach Public Library. And we also have other books to recommend too. Pueden sacar este libro de la biblioteca de Long Beach. Y también tenemos otros libros en español que pueden sacar. I have The Fright Club by Ethan Long or The Creepy Pair of Underwear by Erin Reynolds. Este libro se llama El Cucuy. Eh, es un libro bilingüe por Joe Hayes y La Araña Muy Ocupada por Eric Carle. A mí me gustan mucho. Thank you for joining us. I'm Chenda. Gracias por leer con nosotros. Yo soy Jackie. We'll see you at the library. Hasta la vista a la biblioteca. Bye. Adiós. Adiós. Thank <laughs> you.